Hello, I am going to show you a tutorial on how to prepare for intramuscular injection. Have a look at what I have got on the tray. I have a gauze. I have a gauge 23 injectable needle. Expiry date is at the back. I have a steric or an alcohol swab. Expiry date is at the back. I have another gauze. I have the vial. I have the Clinel wipe. Expiry date is at the back. I have the filter needle. It's red. And I have a 3 mil syringe. And I have a sharp spin. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare. Don your gloves. Wipe the tip. So if you can see, I've arranged it according to how I want to use it. One side is for aspiration, aspirating the medication. Linnell wipes and date, put that on the side, open it, clean the tip, ask Miss Assessor if this is a glass ampule or a plastic ampule. Clean this for 30 seconds. While it's drying for 30 seconds, you can prepare your syringe. Open it. Open it, but don't expose. Attach this now to the red needle. Put all the used equipment in one corner. Have a look. There is a technique to avoid too much bubble. Pull the plunger down because if it is from a packet, it is very stiff. So pull the plunger down and push the air out. It primes the air out of the needle too. Now, this has now dried. You do top, top, cover the tip and snap away. Knuckle to knuckle, snap away. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Tap, tap, put the gauze on top and snap away. This goes directly in the sharp spin because this assessor may say it is a sharp, it is a glass ampule. You have to describe the ampule. You will say, I can see there is no glass fragments, there's no cloudiness, there's no precipitate I'm happy to use. Watch how I am going to aspirate. Needle on the side. Like this, okay? Or here, you can see better. Do not expose your needle. Aspirate on the eye level. For the sake of this video, I'm just lowering it down. Make sure that the calibration is facing you and you can do it this way. If your prescription is only one mil, only aspirate just slightly over one mil, just like that. Now look how I'm going to resheath it. Look on the side and tip it down. You will hear it click. Now it is secure. Pull the plunger down to give enough room for the bubble to go up. There is a bubble there, look. Okay. Tap it until it goes up. And if you see, there's nothing there anymore. And then you show to Miss Assessor the desired amount you want to inject. There it is. One mil.
when changing into blue needle or the injectable needle do not expose this yet keep it there once you're ready like this hold secure and then throw this in the sharp spin there you go it's ready for injection make sure before you go to your patient pull this pink down there it is and now i only have three things left and the ampule this is for the skin and this is for the gauze patient skin after injecting i hope you like the video and i hope this helps thank you